Okay, you know, um, normally when you do patchwork, you know, I just want to say that, you know, technique is so personal and a lot of the things that I show are just the way it works for me. I almost think that's like the best thing is to show people what works for you and not necessarily uh, research everywhere and try to reproduce what works for everybody else because really what uh, what folks want to know from you personally is what works for you. I mean it's your story and maybe that's the reason for um, for contact, you know. Anyway, in normal patchwork you kind of measure out the pieces very often. You have a template. This freeform method is for me, um, well, it's, I guess you could say it's easier, but in the end it also gives you kind of some skew and some unique um, aspect to the pattern itself. I just roughly cut a few pieces to show you the log cabin method, and I've already stitched, you know, I always start with something in the middle, and in this case I didn't make it square. I mean, the other option you have here is to just uh, use up what you have. You can cut as you go, um, or you can change up the size or the shape of what you're doing, and then of course you're going to get some variation. But I started here, and uh, I just cut a piece that would fit, so I could seam it there. Could have made it longer, squarer, thinner, whatever. And then the third piece, I made big enough to span the two of them. And I'm sewing them in a very, uh, just a running stitch with a little back stitch in between for strength. And you know, in terms of whether or not to press the seam open or not, just to fold it over, you know, I very often do them open because I do a lot of stitching on uh, my pieces and I don't like too much thickness. But in this case, this fabric was kind of old, a little thicker than this one. I just folded it over because really what I'm doing is managing that, managing the thickness. But I'm also, if you fold it, you get a stronger seam than you do if you uh, press it open. Uh, and that's, you know, again, it's something that really I think every time you do something, you should just uh, look at it decide what's best in the moment because that's really uh, again what's working for you what is your um, ultimate goal what are you going to use it for um, how do you see that decision becoming useful you know so really you're going around you know so I put this one here I put this one here and now I've got one that'll fit here which I will uh, sew a seam here and decide whether to press it open or sideways and then I'll I'll also since this is a little longer I'll trim it up so that I end up with a another straight line here and then I'll start here so really you're just going around cutting yourself some pieces um, if you pre-cut them like this you can kind of plan or you can pull them out of a scrap basket and, uh, and add them as you go.